In this video, I'm going to explain every level of computer science from the basics all the way to elite level understanding. And you can tell me in the comments which level you are. Level 1. Computers are hard. If you're on this level, then you're most likely either a literal child or a 72-year-old grandma. You understand that computers don't have emotions and instead have to think in pure logic and calculations. But if someone was to ask you how a computer actually works, you would reply with, well, I don't know, it just sort of does. And when your computer does stop working, you call up the nearest family member to take time out of their day to come to your home, walk up to the computer, press a single button, and then give you a look which says, if you weren't so adorably helpless, I would punch you in the face. You can probably make a basic flowchart, and when you hear that someone is programming, you think that they're doing this. What the heck? Level 2. Basic Programmer. For whatever reason, you decided to learn to code. Whether you're in school and you want to get a job working in tech, or you're a 45-year-old man going through a midlife crisis, and you think that learning how to use a computer will be the key to your success. Whatever the case may be, you're probably learning an entry-level language like Python or JavaScript, and you know how to use if statements, loops, and basic functions. Back in my day, you would often stay up all night trying to debug your code only to find out that the reason it wasn't working was a single missing colon or comma. But nowadays you just ask ChatGPT. Level 3. Computer Junkie. If, for some reason, all the painful nights of debugging hasn't turned you off from computer science, you'll move on to level 3. On this level you'll learn about slightly more complex data structures like arrays, lists and dictionaries, and you'll begin to think about algorithm efficiency and optimization. If you like watching computer science videos on YouTube but you never actually bothered to make your own fully fledged program, then you're probably on this level. And if you're from the UK and you're a computer science student, then apparently you're also expected to be a law student because they're going to make you write literal essays about GDPR. They don't make chemistry students write essays about how cooking meth is bad, but oh no, if you're a computer science student, then you have to be good at writing an essay on law. Level 4, Career Nerd. At this level, you'll build full stack projects and you might actually be employed by some company in the IT department. You understand both the front end and back end process which goes into actually creating software, and your dream is to come up with a brilliant idea, have some stinking rich guy invest millions into your project, quit your day job and hire a team to build it, and then live out the rest of your days in Chiang Mai, Thailand. This is the peak of Mount Stupid, where you think that just because you know a few programming languages and you use the agile software development methodology, that you can do everything. Level 5. Average Linux User. This is where the schizophrenia starts to kick in, and you begin to switch everything you use into open source alternatives because I don't want some big corporate knowing what I do on my computer. You'll also start using computers in a fundamentally different way to everyone else. Managing memory at the byte level, orchestrating threads and processes, tuning the kernel, automating deployment with scripts, and tracing every system call. You're fluent in most modern programming languages like C++, Rust, Bash, Java, and so on. And you've typed the words git push more times than you've said the word hello. And if you want to become a programmer but you don't know where to start, then check out today's sponsor, Brilliant. Brilliant helps you become a better thinker and problem solver with thousands of visual interactive lessons in maths, science, programming, data analysis, and AI. It's a learning app designed to be uniquely effective, and each lesson is filled with hands-on problem solving, which lets you actually play with the concepts. A method proves to be six times more effective than watching boring lecture videos. With Brilliant, you build an understanding from the ground up, with a mix of engaging problems, competitive features, and daily encouragements which keeps you motivated and on track. And all content on Brilliant is crafted by an award-winning team of researchers, teachers, and professionals from Stanford, MIT, Caltech, Google, Microsoft, and so on. Brilliant has a growing collection of programming courses which is a great way to get started learning to code. From learning Python to developing an intuition for computer logic, you'll get hands-on experience with real programs and learn to think like a programmer. To try everything Brilliant has to offer for free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org forward slash the unqualified tutor or scan the QR code on screen. Or you can click the link in the description, you'll also get 20% off of an annual premium subscription. Level 6. Average Cubes User. You can design distributed systems at scale and you're comfortable juggling multiple isolated virtual machines for everything you do. You understand how operating systems, compilers, and hardware work together and you're not afraid to recompile parts of the stack if something's in your way. You can debug concurrency issues, memory leaks, or race conditions in real time, and you've probably at some point written your own compiler. Level 7. They're hiding in the walls. This is the elite level. When you go from wearing an Apple Watch on your runs to track how many calories you've burnt, 
to securing your own personal diary with blockchain. The creators of new programming languages, operating systems, or compilers are often on this level. Your dream is to live in the back of your van with a rack server and an ARM mega cluster of around 256 Raspberry Pi 4 clusters so that you can train an AI to one day take over the world. If you're on this level, then you're either mega, mega stinking rich or mega, mega poor. Don't forget to tell me which level you think you are. Join the channel to support my work and thank you to all my channel members here and piss off. Unless if you're a channel member, then don't piss off.